Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Neil and in this video, I'm going to show you how to clear TOA Hell level 1 using free to play monsters. Quick disclaimer, you can always choose any monster you like. I'm just going to show you the monsters that worked for me in order to clear TOA Hell level 1 with 3 stars. Let's begin. So in order to get 3 stars in TOA Hell stage 1, you'll have to put a check mark on the two goals. Immune to cooldown increasing effects from attacks and passive skills don't work. Therefore, I would think twice before using monsters that have passives. So these are the monsters that I used for my team. Tyrone as my lead for the additional speed so my team can move faster than the enemies. Next is Jean used mainly to provoke the enemies so my other monsters won't get attacked, or worse, killed. Even though the opponents are immune to cooldown increasing effects, I still used my Dark Homunculus to decrease the cooldown time of my team's skills. Plus, the weakened defense of its second skill also comes in handy to inflict more damage to the enemies, especially the boss. Crow's third skill leaves a branding effect which tremendously enhances the damage inflicted to enemies. Crow and Spectra are incredible free-to-play damage dealers. And Spectra's third skill is also useful in lowering the enemy's attack bar, which delays them from taking a turn. The boss for TOA Hell level 1 is Lima, and you need to beware of its third skill that grants immunity and invincibility to its minions. If Lima uses this, it's basically game over. My technique on defeating every stage in TOA Hell level 1 mainly involves two things. Number one, don't let the enemies get a turn to attack you. And number two, in case they do attack you, make sure you have Provoke. So your main damage dealers, such as Crow or Spectra, which usually have low HP, won't get killed. But as much as possible, just don't let the enemies get a turn on you. So for the first stage, I used Jean's third skill to provoke the enemies, and the second skill to give her invincibility to protect her from dying. Then I used Spectra's third skill to lower the enemy's attack bar and their attack power. Then I used Tyrone's third skill to freeze the enemies, rendering them unable to attack. Not all of them might get frozen though, but I don't worry, because even if the enemies attack, they won't do so much damage. I used my Dark Homunculus skill, Unbalanced Field, to decrease the skill cooldown time of my team. Then I used Crow to break the enemy's defense so my monsters can do more damage. Tyrone's second skill also reduces the attack bar, so I make sure to use it as needed. Spectra's second skill, Special Assault, does damage proportional to the enemy's maximum HP, so make sure to use it on an enemy that has broken defense. Use Crow's third skill, Scar, to finish the job. I just use the same strategy for Stage 2. Remember as much as possible, don't let your enemies get a turn on you. For the third stage, your focus should be to prevent Lima, or the boss, from using its third skill that grants immunity and invincibility. In order to do this, you can either provoke or keep lowering its attack bar since bosses are immune to inability effects. Once you've broken the boss's defense, it'll be much easier to defeat it. That's it, you win. If you found this video helpful, tell us all about it in the comments. 